Well, getting impaired drivers off the road is something that police across the province focus on every day. But there's one group that says this province needs to improve its handling of impaired driving issues. Mothers Against Drunk Drivers has ranked the provinces in its annual report card. And MAD says B.C. comes in seventh. MAD says B.C. needs to beef up remedial programs and short-term license suspensions. A news reporter Eric Thompson is following the story. He's live with details. Eric. Hudson, MAD says B.C. scored a C-plus in its annual report card. The group also says there are some things being done right by the province of British Columbia, including the vehicle impoundment programs. Have a seat right here. Drinking and driving starts with your first drink. In Saanich, impaired driving is one of the top mandates for police, which is why road checks can pop up at any time. It's not a one-month campaign. It's a month-to-month-to-month any location, any time of day, any day of the week, we take it very seriously. Mothers Against Drunk Drivers says BC needs to improve its handling of impaired driving issues. MAD says it approves of programs like the 90-day administrative license suspension and vehicle impoundment. But it says BC must impose zero blood alcohol limits for all young drivers and should beef up remedial programs and short-term license suspensions. In Saanich, officers who are investigating suspected impaired drivers have a number of tools available to get those drivers off the road. We can determine the impairment of an individual. If we get to the point where we are using the approved screening device and we determine that that person is maybe not criminally impaired, but impaired to the point that they're still a danger to the safety of the public, we, we would at that point issue a 24-hour roadside suspension under the Motor Vehicle Act. If you're an impaired driver and you fail a breathalyzer test, there's a good chance you could end up here, inside a police holding cell, before eventually heading to court where you could face serious criminal charges. We've asked A News intern Asia Vance to help demonstrate what happens to drivers who are suspected of being impaired. But just blow as much air as you can into the instrument. Don't stop until you naturally cannot blow any more air into the instrument. Constable Mark Prill says it is a criminal code offence to not provide a breath sample. When we go through the process, you'll see when she's providing a sample, you hear a long, continuous, steady tone. Well, that's beeping. That's telling me that she's not providing, she's not doing what I'm asking her to. So she's pretending to blow into it. There are several reasons not to drive while impaired, including the risk you pose to yourself and to others. Hudson, it's important to point out that being impaired by drugs are also uh, that's also a big concern. In Saanich alone this year, police have handed out 87 24-hour roadside suspensions to people who were under the influence of drugs. It's something people should take seriously at any time of the year. Absolutely. Eric Thompson, thank you. You're welcome.